All right, this is an intro video for people who are getting into the Judgment Miniatures game. Uh, and I'm gonna, one of the things that uh, you have to do when you're getting started with Judgment is decide which heroes you want to uh, try first. So this is an intro video for, uh, meant for Magic players who play blue. So this is going to be Judgment heroes that I'd recommend for people who like uh, playing blue in Magic. So first, just a quick intro in case you're not familiar with Judgment. Uh, it's a tabletop war game with uh, featuring kind of these big, beautiful miniatures, uh, dice and rulers, kind of the, the classics of that. Um, it's based on uh, MOBA style, so it's uh, it features, you know, your heroes are going to start by battling uh, new monsters, leveling up, buying items, and then proceeding on to battle against the enemy heroes, and it's a two-player game. Um, so first, let's talk about uh, what what is what what would attract players who uh, play blue. Like, what are we going? What are we shooting for when we're picking our heroes here? Um, so, in terms of you know what what is blue uh, like? What are kind of the hallmarks of blue from an aesthetics point of view? Um, it's kind of like illusions, air, water. Um, these are kind of like the the aesthetics of of blue magic, and then play style. Uh, is is denial control um, and kind of a hit and run style. Um, so, people who play blue and magic, this one's for you. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so, in, when you're playing Judgment, uh, you can play it at two different uh, levels. So, you can play three versus three heroes or five versus five. So, uh, when you're first getting started, you usually play three versus three. So, let's start by picking out three heroes that would make a good warband. Um, so the first one I'm going to recommend is Piper. So Piper is an elf illusionist rogue, um, and his uh, signature powers are summoning a copy of himself that will uh, take hits from others, uh, backstab where if he's in melee, if someone else is in melee with him, he does extra damage, um, and he uh, also has a, a teleport effect where he can move around the battlefield. So uh, well, all these things together make Piper a great choice uh, for getting started because he's really hard to pin down. He, under the right circumstances, he can do big damage. Um, and in three versus three, he's just a big pain to deal with because he uh, because he can dodge one attack, and you just don't have that many attacks uh, when you only have three heroes. So um, he's just it can be really frustrating to play with. All right, the next hero I'm going to recommend is Don, Don Rocker. So I'd like to pretend that, you know, he somehow represents water or air or illusion, but he really represents none of those things. Uh, I think this guy is all about the play style, uh, and if you're a player who plays blue, I know you love to frustrate your opponents. You know, you always want to leave two blue mana untapped, right? So that you can, uh, even, if, even, <laughs> even if you don't do anything, you just uh, are controlling what your opponent can do. So don't, that's, and that's the play style with Don Rocker. So what Don Rocker, uh, his, his, ma uh, his signature ability is um, pins enemy heroes in place. So he's a big, tough dude. Uh, he, he, he can be really hard to attack. Uh, he has a, a power called Stone Form that pumps his armor up to like almost unkillable levels, and he has a, a power called Stone Grasp that locks your enemies in place. So really what he want, uh, what makes Stone Rocker so nasty is against certain heroes, he can just completely shut them down where they almost can't do anything. Um, and uh, he also, in a warband where you're where you have a lot of tricks and movement uh, shenanigans like a lot of the other heroes that we're gonna feature, you also want to have someone who you can put into nasty spots and kind of uh, be the the target of your enemy's attacks. So I think, uh, and again, he's he, like I, I mentioned how his ar armor can get so high in three v three. He's just really punishing because you're just trying to get enough damage to ever take him out. He's regenerating. He has high armor. Um, you know, he's just your opponent's strategy is usually just going to be to try to ignore him as best they can, but then you're going to be locking them down. So I think he's a great second hero. Uh, and then the third hero I'm going to recommend is Nephany. So here we're talking about, uh, she's a, a hero who can fly. You see her jetpack in action there. Um, so she, she again, so she, her, her signature ability is uh, she's immune to free strikes. So that means that she can just f essentially fly over, you know, fly around the enemy heroes and get into the, uh, the, the, the soft guys in the back. So we kind of talk about how Don Rocker wants to soak up hits, and your opponent's probably going to be bringing heroes like that. What Nephany wants to do is just fly right over those front guys and get back and start attacking the mages, the archers, the uh, support, you know, the, the healers, um, the, those those kind of people. So, um, and uh, that's going to, you know, as a, as, a, as a person who plays blue, I know you're going to want to watch those tiers when you're chasing after your opponent's cleric and they're trying to run them, you know, run them away. 
um, that's you're gonna I think you're gonna really enjoy that. Um, so this is your your starting three warband. It's Piper, Don Rocker, and Nephany. All right. So once you uh, play a few games at the three v three level, um, the next thing that you're gonna want to do is step up into playing either. 5v5 or 3v3 with pick and ban. And in both of those cases, you're going to be bringing five heroes. So the next progression that you're going to do uh, after after you've played a few 3v3 games is, is picking out a fourth and a fifth hero. So the next uh, hero that I'm going to recommend is Styx. So when you know when we talk about magic with some of the shenanigans that you or some of the you know control and denial, um, I think that you know there, there's not there's no there's no counter spell in um, in judgment, but uh, I think that one of the most similar things is movement tricks, especially moving your opponent's models around, and that's kind of what Sticks is great at. So he uh, he has an uh, ability called Astral Split that lets him switch places with an enemy model. Uh, so what that means is that he can you know run into a horrible position and then switch places with an enemy, uh, kind of putting them you know in range of a monster or you know what whatever. So so he, and and you know for slow enemies that can be brutal for for uh, squishy enemies that can be brutal. So um, and and this guy is just a very I think if if you play blue you're you're not. You're not someone who's going to enjoy, you know. My here's my choices are charge this guy with, my, uh, you know, charge in with this guy who has a big axe, or charge in with that guy who has a big axe. I think you're going to want a lot. You're going to enjoy heroes have, who have a lot of options, and I think uh, Sticks is, is absolutely one of those heroes. Um, and then the next hero I'm going to recommend is another one in that same vein, which is Bale and Sarna. So Bale and Sarna are actually a, a duo who kind of count as one hero pick, um, and they again are uh, heroes that just have. A tons of tricks. The number of options on what you can do in a turn with Bale and Sarna is so broad um, that you're going to spend a lot of time um, kind of learning, like p figuring out what's the best plan for the, the the situation that you're in. So I think if you're a, if you're a person who plays blue and magic, you uh, are going to enjoy you know really high skill cap, high choice uh, type of heroes. And I think so. I think that's why uh, Bale and Sarna is a great choice. Um, and just, just a couple of examples of what they can do. They can teleport around the board. Uh, Bale can steal artifacts away from the enemies and de essentially denying them those artifacts. Sarna can steal uh, powers from enemies and, and allies. Um, so, you, you know, you, the number of, yeah, you're just going to have a, almost unlimited choices in terms of how they're going to spend their turn. All right, so that brings us up to the full 5v5 warband. So the, the first five heroes that you're going to be uh, bringing are going to be Piper, Don Rocker, Nephany. Now we're adding in Styx and Bale and Sarna. So this is, this is uh, I, I chose Styx and Bale and Sarna in here because I think they really show off uh, a cool part about um, about Judgment, which is these, these high skill cap, high, you know, high skill, high reward type of uh, heroes. This is going to be a pretty squishy warband, so I, I think... Uh, you know, it, you may after you play this for a while, you may decide you want to swap in someone who's a little tougher, so that you have someone other than Doan Rocker who's going to be able to take hits. But I still think I think that if you're playing this, you're going to really start to appreciate some of the the skill involved um, in Judgment, which is a reminiscent of playing Blue and Magic. All right, so if after you've played uh, either you know five v five or uh, with, uh, or three v three with Pick and Ban, um, kind of the most competitive level of Judgment is playing Pick and Ban with uh, 5v5. So and this is kind of the most, if you play in a judgment tournament, this is typically what you're going to be playing. So now in order to play pick and ban with 5v5, you're going to bring two extra heroes, your opponent's going to ban one, and then you're going to pick five from the remaining. So you, so that, uh, so you're going to want to bring a total of seven heroes. So here I'm going to recommend, uh, two more heroes to round out this warband. So the first one's going to be Alan Deer. Um, so he's, a an, a ranger, uh, brings these ranged attacks. So I, I think it's interesting. Why did you know how how does Alan Deer fit into this warband? Um, again, aesthetically, I don't know that he's a great fit. But if you're playing blue, I'm guessing it's not because you love air and water. It's because you love uh, making your opponent cry. And Alan Deer is exactly the right hero for that. Uh, in truth, I kind of wonder whether you're ever gonna put Alan Deer on the table because uh, here I talked about bands. Um, I think he, you know he's he, at, at least in what I've heard recently, he's just someone who everyone wants to ban. He's just so punishing. Um, he has his explosive arrows that can set a bunch of enemies on fire. So if your opponent likes to clump up their heroes, he's going to punish them. Um, he also, with his long range arrows, uh, it, similar to Nephany, he can get into those squishy backline heroes. So 
uh, and you know, with with a ranged hero like Alandir, you you're going to have a lot of choices around who you attack. So um, again, I think he's kind of a, a high skill hero, someone who your opponent's going to want to ban, which is going to let have you let you have your choice of your other heroes. So I think he's a great choice. Um, and the last hero I'm going to recommend is Sir Marcus. So uh, I think when you're getting into this, five, you know, five v five pick and ban, one of the things you need to look at is kind of look at your warband and think about who your opponent is, which of your heroes your opponent is going to ban. Uh, so one of the risks, I think, in this warband as it is, is that you have Doan Rocker who wants to soak up hits, but he's kind of, or, uh, but yeah, he's kind of the, the obvious choice for a ban, I think. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the beauty is if they ban uh, Doan Rocker, then you have Allendeer, but but I think you're going to be lacking in 5v5 with uh, people who you can stick next to a shrine uh, or, you know, that kind of thing. So... So I think the last one I'm going to recommend is Sir Marcus. Um, so again, I think it helps with the ban. Um, so Sir Marcus, uh, one one of his signature abilities is a knockdown with his shield. So he his cl a classic Marcus move is to charge in, knock down an opponent with a shield, and set up your other heroes for delivering the killing blow. So I think he's he just combos so well with heroes like Piper, with heroes like Nephany. Um, where if there if there's a hero that's knocked down and Nephany comes in with her, she makes two attacks with each action. So you know she he knocks her down. She comes in and makes four attacks. You know that's going to finish off a, a lot of heroes. Um, and then he also has a, a special ability of placing a wall on the board, um, which again I think is just that's a very high skill type of uh, move where uh, if you can you know place a wall in the right position and deny your opponent landing zones, um, it just it can be really frustrating for them. Where you know you you get in there. You attack, you put down a wall, they have nowhere that they can land to, to make counterattacks or, you know, you can block access to your other heroes. So I think Sir Marcus is a great way to round out this warband. So here it is. Here's the full seven. Um, so Piper, Don Rocker, Nephany, Styx, Bale and Sarna, Allendeer, and Sir Marcus. Um, I think, you know, if you look at this from a pick and ban perspective, um, I think that, uh, you know, there there's not, to me, an obvious, uh, I probably, like I said, Alan Deere is probably going to draw ban just because people hate playing against him. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, you know, blue player, I'm hoping that uh, this uh, this warband will will uh, appeal to your cold, cold heart and that uh, the, the skill of the, playing these complex heroes is going to appeal to you. All right, this uh, video is brought to you by Wartable.online. It's a site that I created where you can play Judgment for free. So I hope you go check it out. And uh, please share this video with uh, your friends who play Blue.